Welcome to Robocraft. Yeah, this is um, something new for the channel again. Um, yeah, this is a game that I did play about. Oh god, it has been a huge while ago. Um, for people who are into Robocraft, I started playing just around when the first Walker legs came in, and I. Stopped playing around when I think the flak cannon just came out, so I'm seeing a huge amount of new stuff here, so this will probably be an episode of me just looking if my old shit still works, and what new shit they added. So, probably the second episode of this will be me actually building something. Good god, this is taking forever. Ooh, we have music. Um, no, these are also new. Ah, never seen these etched uh, kind of blocks. These I've seen, these I've seen, these two. Yeah, these are on the cross I have at the moment. The Ice Climbers. And the Beetle Mark II. The Truck. And the Amputated Eagle. This will probably be the one I'll do a round with. The Heel Tank. Good god, this thing is shit. Well, I don't quite remember. I don't. It wasn't great, but it got the job done. The balloon? Good god, this thing is absolute shite. Uh, I hate rails so much in this game. Uh, a walker, which really wasn't all that good. Uh, the... Uh, oh, this was an old ship of mine, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is... this was my stealth ship. And... Oh, why is that all red? Uh, what did they change this time? Yeah, this was my try at creating a megabot. Um, have a look, can I... No, I can't go scroll further out. And this is a tank I bought because it looks really cool and did pretty well. So, step one. Let's... Let's try the truck. Um... For people who don't know Ro Robocraft, it is basically a combination of Besiege and TF2 or something. Okay. Yeah, this really is a pretty bad uh, thingy, but for some reason it always got a job done. Might be because I knew what the fuck I was doing, but... I do wonder how they changed the entire game. Huh. Uh, good god, I remember the days you had to actually put on a rectifying uh, part. Yeah, this seems to work. But yeah, I remember the day when you actually had to put on a part that would allow you to well, bounce upwards and then hopefully come down the right side. Good god, that was a long time ago. It was faster, but people could shoot that uh, exact part off and then you had no way of getting uh, back up. And those were fun days. Yeah, this is a really... 
this is a really strange craft. Uh, arrow falls out the yin yang. This is a really strange one. Well, for the most part, if it's completely full, it functions well like a normal plane. Good god, I forgot how stable it is. Do good. I uh, kind of forgot how you control everything in this game. But this craft, well, it's so strange because people can just shoot a wing off or can shoot one of these entire blocks off and it will still, uh, well, it won't fly greatly of course, but this thing can stay in the air for such a stupid long time. Oh yeah. Yeah, I started playing when uh, playing uh, when plasma, these are plasma launchers on the underside, when they would just fire all at once. So if you had six, it was just uh, you f you look at something, you shoot, and then six plasma balls would drop down. Uh, and now you got to do it like that. Yeah, this is, I think, a really cool plane. Because it's stupidly sturdy as well. Let's have a seat. Probably also want to check out my ice climbers. This really is a craft I love. Because it's so weird, you never... Because, well, you have multiple ways of getting around. I mean, you have wheels, tracks, um, wings. You also have... I can just show you. Um, although I might have to... Um, where do I buy parts nowadays? Oh, the forge. Yeah, you have wheels to get around tracks, tank tracks, uh, mecha legs, which I'm not all that used to, sprinter legs, what the hell are these? Yeah, never tried those. Uh, insect legs, the wolf legs, the large insect legs, yeah, skis. These are really interesting and really odd because they have basically no friction. Uh, so you will go really fast over the ground, but they basically have no friction, so you really won't be standing still or going exactly where you want to go anytime soon. Then you have hover things that will lift you a couple meters off the air, which are pretty cool, but also pretty odd. Um, thrusters, good god, when I played this there were crafts that were just completely thrusters, and these things had, I don't know if they still have, but they had huge amounts of health and those things were basically unkillable. It was such a big pain in the ass. I hope they finally got rid of those. Um, helicopter blades and then the whole set of wings. Uh, oh! Oh, you can now buy the bat wings without uh, premium. Let me do that then. Hmm. Yeah, this might be Halloween only, so I'll quickly buy those before they're gone. Then you have basic lasers, which are just on a turret and can shoot every direction. And the very large lasers. Plasma, my normally preferred uh, weapon of choice. The rails. Uh, these are basically just your sniper rifles. Uh, the nano, the nano boosters or nano beams or whatever they're called nowadays. Yeah, they were nano constructors always. These are both can both damage people and will heal uh, teammates. The arrow flag. Oh, anti-air, god damn, these things were so annoying. This thing was just introduced when I kinda got bored of it, so... Yeah, these things... 
They do little damage when you're underground, but if you're slightly above the ground they will do a huge amount of damage and will explode when they're just kind of near you. These things I have not seen. Flash plutonium seeking bolts that lock onto targets. Great. Laser uh, self guiding rockets or something. Uh, what's the damage they do? 360 versus. Um, uh, they don't do that much damage, so. Could be worth, I guess. Lock on missiles. Joy. And what is this? Oh, shotguns! And a chain shredder. I might look into those shotguns because I always like shotguns. And then you had the really odd ones, the yeah, the Tesla blades, what they they were called. Now they're yeah, slicer, ripper, and Nova. And with these, you have to bump into someone, and then they do a huge amount of damage. And yeah, you had a couple of fun things you could do with these. I never was that big a fan of them, but you could, for instance, combine them with the skis and get a and some thrusters and get a really fast craft that would then just decimate uh, anything really. And then you have the uh, yeah electro shields. These will just block some damage for you. They are pretty heavy and don't protect as much as if you would just spend the same in blocks. The nice thing about them is you can shoot them a couple times and they won't break off. So for something like a flyer, where balance is pretty much everything, you will just, you won't go down as easily. So, uh, oh, these are all new. Power booster, boost regeneration rate. So yeah, this is also something they introduced when I was playing. That when if you don't get shot for a while, you will regenerate back. Um, disc shield module. Creates a full, small fusion shield in the shape of a disc at the location of your crosshair. Push, push the loadout assignment key to fire. I have never used this. This has been introduced after I saw and stopped playing. Blink module. Then pulls your rope at small distances to the location at your crosshair. Sounds cool. I have no idea how that would be all that useful though. Ghost module. Now that sounds interesting. Cloak your robot and consumes power whilst cloaked. Firing weapons or taking damage will trigger the decloaking automatically. Boost, yeah. So that's just disappear for a while, which yeah doesn't seem all that good for getting away, or but more for sneaking up on someone and then, well, killing them. Probably really good with the Tesla blades. The EMP module use electronic pulses to stun your enemies. I have no idea how that's supposed to work. The radars, they will just show whoever is close to you. Radar receivers will show who other people can see to you. And the radar jammers, that will make you not be seen on people's radar. And then some... Um, hmm. Since when can you buy these with just normal uh, coins? Yeah, when I was playing, you had two kinds of types of money: the normal money and the uh, premium. And all this kind of shit, you had to buy with premium stuff. So I do really like that they now allow you to buy these with normal money. That's really nice. So let's quickly see if. My ice climber still work. Yeah, the wall collects, they are some of the most interesting uh the god. I forgot how speedy this thing turns. But yeah, these are really cool as they are well they are walker legs and they will stick to anything. 
uh, they were a big troll of the game and oop. Well, and a big part of the reason why I started playing again. So, but so those still work and jump. Okay, that also still works. And now for the really interesting part about it, this bot, you jump and keep spacebar. So the legs will keep up and then... Oh, now it's gear. So this is a really good one as, well, the main problem of... Oh, ooh, why am I spinning out? But yeah, the main problem of walkers is that they're pretty slow. The main problem of skis is that they're not very stable. And this thing basically solves both those problems. Because you can really fast get to a point and then you're very stable. And yeah, this is real. I'm shooting downwards. Yeah, this is also why walkers and rails are really good. You can just hang off a side and get a very good view of everything. So, and this thing also seems to work still. Uh, so let's let's take the amputated eagle out on some uh, people and see if I not get immediately shot out of the air because I haven't played this in good god maybe a year already um, good god what is everything so originally it was all team deathmatch and that was pretty cool um, now we also have uh, oh this is for ranked battles this is normal this one is also pretty cool, this is, um, yeah, let's do this one. Hey, the battles can, well, no. Let's do this one with the plane I'll be making in the next episode, which I'll probably record right after this. Let's go for a team deathmatch, because, well, this was pretty a long introduction and everything, and... Yeah, let's go into team deathmatch. Because that's normally pretty short. I do wonder if people are still really playing this game though. Yeah, this was always the fun part. Because the game was, well... The game was never all that popular. You always had to wait for a little bit, because, but... The game was always a lot of fun, because, well... You make your own craft and then see test it against other people. Uh, how fancy. Yeah, this is what we'll be playing with and against. New oh god. Sprinter with two mini guns. Not a sprinter legs at the moment. Yes, they're the newest thing, so everybody wants to try them. This is team deathmatch. Kill the enemy team to win. The first team to reach the target total wins. Uh, okay, so to kill 20 of them and don't get killed 20 times. Spotted. Good god, that is a lot. Spotted. Uh, oh, I guess that's the disc shield. And here the recording stopped. I have no idea what happened, what program fucked up here, but well... Yeah, certainly the rest of that match is lost. Um, we won! Don't know exactly how it went, but... It went pretty well, apparently. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. Great beginning of the series, isn't it? But, yeah, sorry about that. So, this is the very awkward ending of the video. Um, take care.